What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. This is Darian with Darian the Dev and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you guys my three month update as a software developer. So I'm on my lunch break and it's raining. Again, I'm, I'm doing this upload a video every day challenge. So we're starting off with 30 days and hopefully get to 60 and then 90. So again, this is me making that effort. I told you guys, you might be seeing me a little bit more like vlogging in the car and stuff like that. Like whenever I can get time to vlog, but I just wanted to share like a really quick update and just kind of touch on some of the things that I've noticed um, now that I've been at my job for about three going on four months. I did a one month update a little while ago so i wanted to follow up and keep kind of sharing with you guys what i'm noticing what i'm learning and how things have changed uh with more time being here on the floor so when i first got to my job if you guys have watched my other videos you know that my initial role when i got to the company was a junior developer and we were placed into sort of a boot camp or an internship where there were certain things they wanted to teach us before they released us to the floor to join our teams that we're on now and contribute to the production code. So a breakdown of my team, uh, there's myself who's a developer, I have two other developers, I have one business analyst and I have one QA or quality assurance or quality analyst or whatever you want to call it, our, our team lead, but he's not actually in the weeds with us like doing user stories he's kind of there to make sure that all of our goals are being met on time and that we as team members are doing our you know our jobs i'm on a small team of about five people which means that a lot of the work that we do as developers is pair programming so i am a developer one and the mentor that I have is also a developer one, but he has two more years of experience than I do professionally. And then the third developer that we have is our, both of our mentor in a lot of ways. He's our developer two. Our BA used to be in the business side of our company. So I work at a mortgage company, guys. So our business analyst formerly was in the, the mortgage business. He was on the business side of our company. So he had a lot of experience knowing what the borrowers are going through, what the brokers are going through, what you know the underwriters need. He, he knows all the, the business logic on that side of things. So coming over to IT and becoming a BA, now his role is more of a liaison between the business and the developers or the tech side of things. So his job is to pretty much touch base with our product owner, who is again, another person from the business who basically oversees the direction of our work or our projects. So the product owner basically comes in and says, hey, this is what my teams in the business need right now most urgently. She describes it to our BA of what she needs and how she needs it. It's our BA's job to clarify everything she's asking him for and then to relay that information to us and then find out from us the developers how long it's going to take to implement those things take it back to the product owner and allow her to make choices on how she wants to prioritize so if one thing that the product owner needs is going to take us four months and something else is going to take us maybe two weeks then she can choose whether or not she wants to prioritize that two week thing first or if we should do the four month thing first and then do the two week thing if that makes sense so that covers the product owner and the business analyst developers obviously you guys are here on this channel so you know what we do and then the quality assurance or the qa the quality analyst so what they do is test everything both from a user perspective and also from like a code perspective so I write unit tests, the developers, we write our own unit tests for our code, meaning that we write code to test our own code to make sure that everything is good. However, it's more of just like a smoke test to make sure that the code behaves as expected. But there's a lot of other extensive testing that still needs to be done that we just don't have time to do because we have to move on to the next, the next user story or the next thing that we need to work on. So. That's what the QA does. So he picks up where we leave off with our unit testing and, and continues to test like the edge cases or the outside 
variances of things that can happen that you just don't anticipate when you're writing some code. So sometimes, you know, we think that things are good, they pass our unit test or they work in production, but then he'll test it and then he'll find some weird quirk if you put in this value or if you do this or click this button twice this is what happens so you got to go back and fix that so yeah that's what the qas do and um and yeah and as far as like what i'm working on now it's been a number of things so i actually had a scenario where i was working on a project for like two two and a half weeks and then that project actually just completely got dropped like mid project it just completely got dropped like no longer was a priority and something else became the number one priority in the middle of that so now i'm working on that second priority user story which is now the most important thing that we're working on as a team and so uh, it's it's funny because now i'm working on two things at once like this is the priority but when i when i'm not working on this i'm working on this so it was really interesting to see how like versatile things can be like just because you're working on something so hard and you're like you have this goal set and your product owner is is expecting it to be done on this day or whatever like certain things can happen at least in the mortgage industry where laws change or you know something really crucial happens to a certain loan or whatever in the process and then all of our priorities get changed to kind of like work around those things so yeah i just thought that was really interesting how you have to just be ready for things to change and switch at the drop of a dime so i think it's really cool uh learning a lot of stuff i've i've had a chance to dabble in some view js i've had a chance to dabble in some scheme code which is like a really old programming language you guys can go like look it up on google it's a pain to work with but got a chance so i guess for me i've just been exposed to a lot of things and um that's really good and then just working in that team environment for a few months now i think a lot of things make a lot more sense as far as like test driven development and why you want to do it and just understanding what it's like to work in a huge code base like for example i had a file today i was working in that was in scheme code it had over 5,000 lines of code in it so i mean just getting used to like the environment all the different things that can happen there's always going to be quirks and things that go wrong like with uh like for two days i couldn't run my unit test because myself and no one else on my team could figure out why my unit testing software we use in unit why it wasn't working and i mean it there's a solution to it but it took like two days to figure out so i mean that whole time we're literally just trying to figure out like how can we get this, these units has back up and running so like things just happen sometimes servers go down like there's just so many things that i'm just realizing are just outside of anyone's control as a developer um the unpredictable predictability of the work environment is like one of the things i like about it the most i just wanted to share some of the things that i've noticed since then with you guys and kind of just give you my insight into the professional development world as i see it right now so yeah guys if i didn't answer anything specific you guys want to know or if you have any questions on your mind feel free to leave me some comments down below and we can definitely i can answer those questions for you guys uh like and subscribe if you haven't already it super helps with the motivation to keep just making videos for you guys again this is darian with darian the dev and i'll see you in the next video all right